How is it going everyone? My name is Hafo and well, welcome to, uh, which is going to be day 11 of my 12 tips of, well, it's going to be New Year now, but um, yeah, this is day 11 and uh, the reason I never actually got around to finishing this was because I just had a very busy Christmas to be honest and, uh, well, I just didn't really have time and I'm sure most of you will understand <laughs> and I'm sure lots of you have also had uh, busy Christmases and I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and I know it's a bit late, but uh, a Happy New Year for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to be learning how to do this. Uh, we have our thing flies in, Subpar Gaming, which is, uh, if you didn't know, a channel that I uh, help or help out with quite a bit, and um, I'm part of. Um, yeah, um, and what it does is it flies in, sorry my computer's being really slow at the moment. Spins round, uh, on the back it kind of says enjoy, and it flies out. Um, there's lots more you could do with this, obviously. This is just like the first episode of like, it's going to be, I'm going to do quite a few parts to this episode, it's going to be like, different things you can do with 2D animation, because that's what this is at the end of the day. And I'm going to be like showing, um, well like, uh, all things you can do with gameplay, so like, maybe transitions, and all little nice things that you can learn. So, the first episode, which is this one, is about uh, just this little intro. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composition. And for my intros, I like them looking, you know, fairly crisp, like, uh, I want the quality of my intros to be very good. So I'm just going to put it in 1080 by 720, and I'm going to have it set my composition to one minute long. Like that, there we go. Oh, yeah, one minute long. Uh, and as you can see, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid. Now, uh, this doesn't matter so much what colour you pick. Um, because we're going to change it anyway. So as you can see, it looks a bit plain, and as you saw on that, it doesn't look uh, plain. It kind of looks, with, it's got a bit of depth to it. So what we're going to do is, we're going to add what's called ramp. So you just type ramp into your uh, effects, or you can just go to effect and generate and then ramp. We're going to drag that onto our black, or onto our solid. Right. Now, ramp shape, you're going to change that to radial ramp. We're going to uh, drag the, we're going to click this where it says start of ramp and we're going to click the little thing next to it to its right and we're going to click where we want the start of the ramp to be and we're going to click the middle of the page or the middle of the uh, work area and as you will see that kind of puts the circle in the middle and then what we're going to do is we're going to click end of ramp and we're just going to click it outside here somewhere like there there you go and uh, right the start colour this is quite important this depends what colours you want to be working with my favourite colour being blue I'm going to go for a blue sort of colour, but it's uh, it's really up to you. Um, I think blue looks best, just personally, but, you know, it's it's really up to you. But you can kind of create some depth with this. Go for the bright colours up at the top, because, you know, you want you want it to look nice, and people, you you want it to be attractive to the eye. So, you know, the, I'm just rushing through my colours at the moment, at the moment but, um, you know, if you spend more time on it, you get a definitely nicer looking result. There you go, I've got some sort of colours going there. I've got like the blue, uh, the darker blue on the outside, and then I've got the nice, like, lighter centre. And I think it looks quite nice, actually. It's not too different. Well, it's very similar, actually. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some text. So I'm going to have mine just saying there, uh, half tutorials. And my font, which I actually quite like that font, it's called um, Champagne and limousines, oh, very sophisticated there. Um, yeah, we got a nice font, which kind of, I think it looks nice on this because it's kind of simple. Uh, and just we're going to censor that, so we're going to bring up our title, action safe. Um, and there we go, centered. Now this is important, guys. This is very important. We're going to go to transform on our text and the anchor point. What we're going to move is the anchor point. We're going to we're going to move our text to the so that the anchor point, which is that little diamondy thing there, not the diamond, it's like a, it looks almost like a compass or like it. I don't know. It just it's like that little thing there anyway. But you want that to be in the center of the text. So we're going to center it like that, as you can see there. Um, yeah, because what the, I'll explain what that's going to do in a minute. But that is very important. All right, I'll quickly show you now. All right, for example, if my anchor point, okay is, uh, I don't know, it's just, I'll put it back to where it was. If my anchor point is there, that's not where it was, but it's similar, I'll put it there. If I am to stretch or, like, up the scale of my text, as you will see, the text goes up from the anchor point, it kind of, like, it doesn't, 
um, it kind of increases from that point. So we don't want that because, well, uh, we don't want it to. When we, when we're going to be um, scaling it up, we don't want it to go from there. We want it to be in the middle because then our scale will look like this. It'll come out like that, and that looks a lot nicer. So. Uh, there, that's what we need to do for that, and we'll also have to probably do the same for the uh, the circle thing we'll make. So we're going to go to our ellipse tool, uh, which if you hold down on the rectangular tool, you'll get that. And we're going to hold shift. Oh, I click. I didn't. You got to click off that layer, by the way. So off your text layer. So then if we hold shift, um, this will keep our circle in a nice shape. It'll keep it like perfect. If you see what I mean. Uh, we're going to do a circle roughly about the size we want it to be. Right. Now, yours won't have this, but you're going to... Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top where it says stroke, and you're going to add 20 points, or, that, you know, whatever you want to do. I like 20, because it makes it look like there's, like, another circle almost there. And I'm just going to put my text layer above that. Right, like that. So uh, now we've kind of got, like, the basic, like the basis of what our intro is going to be. we got, like, our circle... But as I said, you can change all of this. Uh, this is just a way I've learned to do it. Like, um, I don't really want that grey colour on this one. I want to go for something a bit different. So you could change it up to whatever you wanted, you know. You could have a nice white, even though white doesn't really work that well. But, you know, you can just change around the colours. You could have half tutorials in, like, a light blue. But you, as I said, you just work it out. And um, I'm sure you can get it looking very nice, because I know you guys can do that. So I'm just going to go with a... Uh, seeing what looks good, really. I and mean, you can change the colour of the font. I'll just go with that. Uh, and as you can see, it's centred. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So you're going to select both the shape and the like my half tutorials layer. And click Command D. And what that does is it just doubles it for me. So it gives me two of that layer. Right, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, uh, hit the drop down thing on my layer, on my first layer, and right, where's that? There, it's there. And we're going to go to.